Our dairy is located in the center of the uh, Central Valley, uh, San Joaquin Valley in California, the most productive uh, agricultural area in the world. They grow 310 commercial crops in our county or in the valley here, and uh, on our farm we grow uh, purebred registered dairy cattle, produce milk, produce feed for the cows, corn and silage and, and uh, winter forage but we also have uh, wine grapes and almonds and a small plot of uh, olives for olive oil. There's multiple Californias from the coastal area to the mountains to the deserts. And my grandfather came out in the, in the late 20s, uh, kind of a dust bowl and, and uh, bought his first property in the late 30s. And, and uh, he was always a cotton farmer. My grandmother loved cows. And uh, that love for cows uh, translated to my father. Back in uh, 1980, we bought this farm here because we had the next generation come from college and wanted to make a home for all the family members if they wanted to, to work. To make it cash flow, we sized a dairy to uh, fit it. Uh, end up having capacity of over 3,000 cows, and that's where we're at today. Tell you what, there's nothing like uh, showing cattle and uh, taking a little extra interest in breeding better cattle than having registered Holsteins. We're classifying this week. We do we classify three times a year on their limited program, which means you're doing every first lactation cow. Basically what you're doing is you're you're doing a linear breakdown of different parts of the cows. We can compare with cows not just across the United States, but around the world, and, and help establishing values, help establishing uh, priorities, uh, that we can individually look at the cows with their pedigrees and do a true evaluation of, of uh, what they bring to not just our herd, but to the industry. Whether it's selling breeding bulls to uh, neighboring dairymen in California, to selling uh, uh, embryos to uh, export and domestic, uh, from 1,500 to 3,000 embryos a year to selling uh, semen from our elite cow families that we also genomically test from those bulls. Genomics have uh, added to the great job that uh, Holstein has done in, in their type evaluation, but what it really has done is really focused on the health traits, uh, breeding efficiency, productive life, semantic cell count, and, and the more animals they test, the more accurate it is, and uh, it's, it's really getting us to the full uh, concept of, of a, a efficient, productive, sustainable cow. The eternal optimists that dairy men are, purebred people are, are even more so because they look at a unit of semen and visualize what a mating with that semen with that cow will give you three and four years down the line. But if you look at the last 70 years on, on uh, efficiency, our genetics promoted by the Holstein industry have increased our efficiency by 70%. Whether it's uh, milk production or whether it's uh, better use of resources, better cow comfort, better for the communities, it, it's all been led by the genetic efforts by the Holstein Association. Registered Holstein secures my future mainly because my future is in my kids and my grandkids. We have a tremendous asset in the genetics. There's a demand around the world. Anywhere where they're importing dairy products, they want to also have a certain amount of their own industry. And uh, if they want the best quality dairy products, they come to the United States. If they want the best genetics, same place.